That's like, I can't imagine a bigger waste of $15, but I still want one. Well, I survived my trip on Mickey's Fun Wheel of Death. And right across the way, we are blessed with a really cool uh, merchandise location. We're going to check that out. It is the Boardwalk Bazaar. Well, I guess it's more than that, isn't it? It's Boardwalk Bazaar and Point Magoo Tattoo. <laughs> Tattoo. <laughs> and Sideshow Shirts. And oh my gosh, there's all kinds of curiosities here. They really lay the, lay the puns on thick at this joint. That's DCA for you. It's Punalooza. Puna... Punapalooza. It's a lot of puns. I'll give him credit. I'll give Dizzy credit lately because there was a huge push or like a complaint they were trying to homogenize the merchandise. And there still is some of that, but you know, so that you could buy the same. They didn't have to make a whole bunch of different kinds of merchandise for all of the unique locations throughout the park that they could, they could create a batch of merchandise that they could sell at every single location. And let me tell you something, the people hated that, hated that idea. They want each land to have its own unique merchandise, even stores within the land to have their own merchandise. And I think they've come around on that a little bit better lately. Hopefully you've noticed that when we've walked around these stores, you'll see like this stuff here. I have not seen that anywhere else. And I'm grateful for that, that's cool. Now this kind of stuff, there's still stuff in here like these that you see everywhere. Uh, but you know, for the most part, it's pretty cool. Like you don't see night shirts very often. I don't see those, those are super cute. Minnie Mouse night shirt for $34.95, and you can get Mickey also. I really love that. I swear I could go broke buying this stuff. Here's a bell. Ugh, 30 bucks. But anyway, I give them credit for coming around on that, because they can sell a lot more stuff, I think. It may, they may not, it may cost them more to produce it, but they'll sell more of it, I think, because people, have a collector's mentality and they want each and everything. You buy it one time, you don't need to buy it again, right? So why keep putting this thing? You gotta put different merchandise out there like this mug, this is super cool. Look at that. A little Jessica Rabbit for you. With a, that's strange. That's a kind of a, yeah, it's a beach longboard surf shack. Why is she on that, I wonder? Oh, $12.95, pretty standard price for a mug. This must be the beachwear section. You've got your Hawaiian floral shirt, your hats, some grumpy, you know, this is for grandpa type shirts. <laughs> uh, very Hawaiian here. Now this is a shirt you can get at Oswald's filling station, but I still like it. That's a cool shirt. Of course I'm a dude, I have to like that I think. Oh, this is fun. I can't drink coffee out of these, but I think they're neat. Some unique art on there rather nice 20 bucks I wonder who the artist is on that because it's pretty good the king of cheers you're darn right the leader of laughs I love it Man, there's a lot of new stuff here foul mood impatient since 1934 <laughs> I love it <laughs> oh, it's super hot Sarah here's her next hat right there moving into the Jack Skellington section, which they've had for a while now at this location. For some reason, I can't figure out how Jack Skellington belongs here. Uh, so I'm, I'm, done, I'm done praising them for that, and now I'm back to complaining about this. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's it, good looking merchandise. Oh, look at that. And get your Sally doll. How much does Sally cost? Jack and Sally are $16.95 each. I really feel like this stuff really belongs only in New Orleans Square. I think that's Jack's home. That's sure where it should be. Look at that. Now how does that, you got Jack, and then it's, you know, then bedazzled. How does that go together? 20 bucks. Okay, ladies, do you like these? It's shiny. And $35. This I like. I'd like to see this. 32. That's super cute. Pretty cool also. Probably 32. 36. Okay. You can still get your 2014 merchandise. <laughs> I guess the, I guess it is legitimate to sell that all year. This is again, it's more stuff that you can get at just about any store anywhere in the park. 
this 2014 merchandise. Not crazy about that, but like I said, at least they've got some, some unique merchandise here. Looks like we've entered the hat section. See these everywhere. Don't really see anything new, although these are pretty cool. I like this hat. It's got Donald hanging at the back of it. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know why that appeals to me, but it does. And these are $21.95. One of my favorite pillow pets. I want a pillow pet so bad. What should I get, guys? If I wind up getting a pillow pet, what should I get? I'm thinking Tigger. He looks the most friendly. <laughs> I don't know what, like, I want to cuddle with Tigger. Well, none of them have prices on it, but they look like, oh, here we go. Two for 50, so, well, two for 50 means one's probably 30, maybe 35. And this will be the collectible section, I guess. Don't say it. This is new, I think, for me anyway. Bendable phone stand for use with most smartphones and MP3 players. It's like a picture frame kind of thing. It's a back, it holds your it holds your phone. Useless, but really neat. <laughs> That's like I can't imagine a bigger waste of fifteen dollars, but I still want one. These look new. They kind of have that appearance from the new shorts, don't they? I, well, that makes sense. Okay, they're calling it the Ink and Paint Collection. So they're supposed to look cartoony. What the hell? And a bear. A hungry bear. Who's that guy? I forget who that guy is. And that's from the Electrical Light Parade. That's gotta be from Small World, I would think. Small World. Haunted Mansion. I swear, I gotta start collecting these. Okay, $19, and I guess you get, it's like a surprise, right? Is that how these work? So I guess it's a surprise, right? I, I, I think I've only ever bought one of these before. Oh, that's the guy from Pirates. How cute. Oh my god, I want these. Well, I actually bought one, you guys. That's the first time I think I've ever bought anything just for the hell of it while I was at Disneyland. I, I abstain, you guys have no idea, I abstain from buying anything because I don't want to crack the seal. I don't want to start and then have to spend all kinds of money to buy more stuff because I'm a collector by habit. By habit. So, <laughs> I, I think I've just opened up the, uh, the floodgates here, but that was just too cool. Those those vinylmations were just too cool. I couldn't pass it up. I don't know what I'm gonna get. We're gonna we're gonna do a little uh, unveiling and unboxing, as it were, a little later, and we'll find out uh, find out what I got for my very first Park Stars vinylmation set. How exciting!